WWE made one huge commentary change on Monday Night Raw last night with Pat McAfee returning to the company to sit alongside Michael Cole on the A Show as they are now the A Team in WWE as we head into a new year in 2025 with Monday Night Raw starting on Netflix next January. But what does this mean for Wade Barrett? What does this mean for the SmackDown commentary team? Have we found our new play-by-play on Friday Night SmackDown? Yes, we have. And I will talk about that right here on OTS. Brock Lesnar may be done with the WWE forever. And what plans have changed now with Brock Lesnar possibly not being at WrestleMania. On top of that, Rollins is questionable. CM Punk is injured. Kevin Owens has a fractured foot. What plans have changed now with Brock Lesnar not involved with WrestleMania? All this plus so much more right here on OTS. We will start with the commentary teams Monday night, Friday night. Who's going where? What are the teams for WWE? As you guys know, WWE moved ahead with the decision to fire Kevin Patrick and remove him from his duties on SmackDown as play-by-play commentator. Michael Cole replaced him last week, being that the WWE crew was all around Florida, in Miami, in Tampa, and Michael Cole filled in on Friday night to sit alongside Corey Graves, who he also called the Royal Rumble with on Saturday the following night. Now, on Monday's Raw, Pat McAfee replaced Wade Barrett as the color commentator on the show, noting that the move was permanent. Now, while speaking on the Wrestling Observer Radio, Dave Meltzer noted that the plan is for someone to be introduced as the new SmackDown play-by-play commentator very soon, and Michael Cole will not be on Friday permanently in that role. He will not be working both shows. He will just call Raw and the PLEs. The new announcer is going to be introduced on Friday Night SmackDown this week. And that man, according to PW Insider, is Corey Graves. Corey Graves is now the new play-by-play commentator on Friday Night SmackDown. His color commentary partner, none other than Wade Barrett. Dave Meltzer says they announced Pat McAfee and Michael Cole as the permanent team on Raw, which means Michael Cole has a terrific travel schedule. He's not going to be able to do Friday much longer. He might not even be doing it this week. At the beginning of the show on Friday last week, Michael Cole said it was for one week only. I don't know what that means. When I asked about Michael Cole, I was told he's got it for now. But absolutely, it is not a permanent thing. PW Insider then reported this morning that Corey Graves would get the play-by-play to sit alongside Wade Barrett. You know, I knew it was a pipe dream, and I knew it. It wasn't going to happen. You know, I love Morrow and uh, I love what he did for WWE. But, you know, every time something like this comes up, his name is always going to be mentioned because of the bullying that he had done to him in the Vince administration and how Vince did not appreciate him and Graves and JBL bullying him and so on and so forth. I get it. It's a different administration. I don't think anything like that would happen This time around, so I'm always going to joke, you know, pick up the phone and let's call Morrow. Offer him a blank check. Let's call Morrow. I don't know if Corey Graves is going to be the right man for the job. I don't. I don't mean that in any disrespect whatsoever. I don't. Corey is a great color. He is very knowledgeable. He's sarcastic. He's witty. We haven't had someone like Corey Graves in a very long time that is quick thinking on his feet and gets out a one-liner and gets out something that just sticks or is humorous and funny and is impactful like Corey Graves. He does a great job at what he does. He's got a great voice as well. Him moving over to play-by-play, it's probably going to be an easy transition because when Kevin Patrick was there, Corey Graves was doing, I would say, a good chunk of the play-by-play because Kevin Patrick was so inexperienced. Meanwhile, he had to do that and his job at the same time. Doing Corey Graves and Wade Barrett 
now gives us two heel commentators. I don't know if Corey Graves is going to be a heel. I don't know if they're going to play off each other as two heel commentators. I don't know if Corey Graves is going to be a babyface and Wade Barrett's going to be a heel commentator. I don't know. I don't want this to be a situation where he was great. Nobody was better in his role. They move him over to a new role, and he doesn't perform as well as he was doing in his old role. I don't want that to be the case. But I will say this. I think we, as a community, I think we, as a WWE fan base, are going to welcome Corey Graves to this new position. I think we are all collectively going to give him a chance. I think, I hope that he got a raise, being that he's going to be anchoring the show and he's now the voice of Friday Night SmackDown. And Wade Barrett is great at what he does as well. I love Wade Barrett's commentary. I think he is great. I prefer Nigel McGuinness because of what he did on NXT. But if there is someone who is very similar to what Nigel was doing and brought that aspect to the WWE, it is definitely Wade Barrett. And he's great at what he does. He's got a great presence. He's funny. He's witty. He's just very good at what he does. Now, as Monday Night Raw is concerned, Michael Cole and Pat McAfee, they are great together. Pat McAfee needs to get affiliated with the WWE product. I don't know what he was not watching while he was doing his own thing. I don't think he was watching weekly. He needs to learn and get familiar with the talent. He needs to get comfortable doing a three-hour show. You know, it's not two hours on Friday Night SmackDown. Three hours is a uh, much different environment, I would assume, to call pro wrestling over a stretch of three hours every week. But him and Michael Cole work beautifully together. They are now the 18. How long he stays there, I don't know. You know, Pat McAfee went away. He's going to be a wanted man. He's going to be doing this. He's going to be doing that. He may be pulled in a lot of different directions that WWE may have to go out and find a replacement for sooner rather than later. But right now, I don't know how long his contract's for. I don't know how long he's going to be in that position. They said it's permanent. What's permanent? A year? Two years? At least through the first year of the Netflix deal? We don't know. Pat McAfee right now... You know, his audience is vast. It is so big. He's got one of the biggest sports, if not the biggest sports podcast in the entire space. So how long is he going to be able to do this without any interruptions and do it with Michael Cole on a weekly basis? I don't know. But they are great at what they do. So right now, Michael Cole and Pat McAfee are the A-team on Monday night. Corey Graves and Wade Barrett are the commentary team on Friday Night SmackDown. Looking forward to seeing what Corey Graves does as a play-by-play on Friday, it's going to be one of the bigger things to come out of Friday Night SmackDown. And as you guys know, I will be live on Friday as we will go over all of that on the Off the Script post show. Brock Lesnar may be done with WWE forever. I would not be surprised if this is the case. Brock Lesnar will not be on television for the foreseeable, foreseeable future. He will not be at WrestleMania. Perhaps he will not be on WWE TV Ever again. Lesnar was expected back on WWE television with his surprise return happening at the Royal Rumble. But that was next after the sex trafficking lawsuit that was filed against Vince McMahon and the WWE with former WWE and UFC heavyweight champion being named in the filing, which everybody allegedly uh, thought and presumed was Brock Lesnar. Lesnar was na- uh, later named in a report. And as far as the Rumble is concerned, I thought Pat McAfee was the one who took Brock Lesnar's spot. That was not the case. It was, in fact, Braun Breaker, who I don't think you could ask for a better replacement to do what Lesnar was supposed to do. Everything that Braun Breaker did in the Royal Rumble, spearing and eliminating, that was all supposed to be uh, sequence for sequence what Brock Lesnar was doing. Lesnar and Omos were supposed to stare down in the middle of the ring I, was, I, would, I would assume that it was supposed to be those two guys with Pat McAfee playing the role of Drew Carey. And remember him, he eliminated himself. Pat McAfee did the same thing. He was supposed to stare down Brock Lesnar and Omos, or maybe was supposed to just be Brock Lesnar after he cleared the ring of everybody. And Pat McAfee said, you know what? I'm going to get in the ring and I'm going to eliminate myself. I'm going to go right back over to commentary. So they used a spot in the Rumble to get a comedy spot out of Pat McAfee where he would eliminate himself because he didn't want to be in the ring with Brock Lesnar, which at that point, I don't blame him. But Braun Breaker took his spot, and Braun Breaker did exactly everything that Brock Lesnar was supposed to do, and you couldn't ask for a better replacement because Braun Breaker is fucking fantastic. Now, Braun Breaker was in the match for Lesnar. If Lesnar was in the match, Lesnar was going to be eliminated by Dominic 
Mysterio, which I believe Dominic eliminated Breaker in the Royal Rumble. So if Braun Breaker took Lesnar's spot sequence for sequence, it would have ended up with Dominic eliminating Brock Lesnar in the Royal Rumble, which would lead to a match with Dominic Mysterio versus Brock Lesnar at the Elimination Chamber in Perth, Australia, which I would assume Lesnar would squash him and destroy him. And then Lesnar goes on to get Gunther at WrestleMania for the Intercontinental Championship. Meltzer noted that Lesnar is not going to be around for a while. It appears that Brock Lesnar is not going to be around for a while. Some people think he will not be back ever again. When it comes to talent, I hate to say forever because most of the time it's not the case, especially if someone can draw. They always seem to find a way back. I don't think Lesnar's coming back, especially with the report that we will talk about tonight or if we don't do it tonight, because I know Drew's got some family problems to take care of. So if we don't do it tonight, we'll do it on Thursday. But I'm right now scheduling it for tonight. And if we do go on tonight, we're going to talk about the Vince McMahon allegations, the Triple H quote at the post-show press conference. And we're going to talk about the report of Ari Emanuel reportedly expected to eradicate anything to protect business in WWE. If Ari Emanuel is looking to eradicate Anything regarding this Vince McMahon scandal, Lesnar obviously is going to be a part of that, and Lesnar will be eradicated as well. I don't think Ari Emanuel is going to bring back Brock Lesnar if that's the case. I don't. I don't think that's going to be a good move for WWE, especially in the public limelight, as long as this thing is a scandal and the court documents are now released and this takes place in the courts. I don't think Lesnar is going to be back until a settlement is made or a decision is made and people are found innocent and guilty in this. I don't think Lesnar should be back on TV. Social media is going to let them have it. WWE is never going to let this one go. And the fans, you know, the fans aren't stupid, man. You know, the fans, I don't know how they felt at the Royal Rumble, but I felt there was a dark cloud over everything at the Royal Rumble. It just felt off. Something about the show felt off. Something didn't feel right. Something felt like it was just hampering down the excitement of the show. And I think a lot of this Vince McMahon scandal had a lot to do with that. Bringing back Lesnar in this moment because it's WrestleMania, I don't think that's the right move. So good on WWE for having the wherewithal to not put this man in the Royal Rumble because I know for a fact if Vince McMahon was still in charge, he'd sweep this thing under the rug and Lesnar would have been in the Royal Rumble with no plans changed because Lesnar and McMahon are buddy-buddy. So I'm glad that WWE is not bringing Lesnar back. We don't need Brock Lesnar. WWE has more than enough talent to get by without Brock Lesnar. WrestleMania plans are going to be changed now with Lesnar being out and being pulled from the Royal Rumble, being pulled from WrestleMania. Meltzer noted that things are going to change as well. So I don't know how things are going to change. Right now, Punk is out. He was supposed to wrestle Rollins. That's not happening. We could be looking at a Rollins-McIntyre. We could be looking at a Rollins-Gunther match at WrestleMania. I don't know what's going to happen with Gunther's spot if he doesn't get Rollins. He was supposed to get Lesnar for the Intercontinental Championship. It was supposed to be Lesnar and Dominic at the Elimination Chamber, supposedly. I don't know why the fuck they'd make that match. I mean, that's just fucking stupid and a complete waste of time. Then Lesnar was going to move on to Gunther at WrestleMania for the IC title. So if... Gunther is not getting Brock Lesnar. What does Gunther do? Do we go Sheamus? Do we go Chad Gable? Do we go Big E? Which I have been quoted saying, I've said this for the last couple of weeks, it certainly feels like with this Imperium New Day feud that the New Day's fighting behind and they're getting their ass kicked every week. It sounds like and looks like Big E's going to make a triumphant comeback. And even the playing field, three on three, New Day versus Imperium with Big E challenging Gunther for the Intercontinental Championship at WrestleMania. I would be okay with that. I would. What else do we do with Gunther, though? I don't know. So plans are obviously changing for WrestleMania. We went from Punk Rollins to potentially Rollins Gunther, Rollins McIntyre. Rollins may get his match at WrestleMania in the main event with McIntyre, which, again, I have no problem with. Sami Zayn's got to be involved in some way, shape, or form. Where does he fit? Plans are changing. There is a report that WWE has several drafts of a WrestleMania card right now, and they are going to long play it, and we're going to get a slow burn. So WWE has enough time to figure out which plan 
or which plans or which card looks the best as we get closer to WrestleMania. Again, we'll go over that tonight on TNT. But a lot of things changed with the lawsuit. A lot of things changed with Brock Lesnar not being included in the Royal Rumble and him being taken out completely this WrestleMania season. A lot of things changed with Rollins being injured. He's questionable. We don't even know if he's going to make it to WrestleMania. I'm assuming he will. A lot of things changed with Punk now going down with the torn triceps. He's going to be out until at least September. So WWE right now, man, it's crazy to think that before the Royal Rumble and before Rollins' injury, I should say, we had a very clear path to WrestleMania. I could tell you at least off the top of my head, seven, eight matches for WrestleMania. Now, I don't know which direction is going or which direction WWE is going in because of all these different things that legitimately happened within the last two weeks. It's crazy at the drop of a dime how fast things can change in the world of pro wrestling. So if you guys want more news on this, we will have it all tonight on TNT. But I wanted to give you guys this extra today. Lesnar may be done for good with WWE. We will not see him back on till uh, a settlement's made or this thing is completely finished in the courts with Vince McMahon, the WWE, Janelle Grant, and this terrible lawsuit that right now is sweeping up and down WWE. Ari Emanuel is threatening to eradicate everything and everyone that's known about this, that has been in the know in regards to Vince McMahon's antics at Titan Tower. It is, it's not good. It's not good. And a lot of people are concerned about what this means for the future of WWE. But at least right now, we know that Brock Lesnar will not be back on WWE TV at least through WrestleMania season, and possibly beyond forever. No more Lesnar on WWE TV. Guys, thank you so very much for all of your support. It's been a tremendous week. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. How do you think WrestleMania is going to line up? Do you want to see Lesnar back? If, if yes, sound off. If not, let me know why down in the comments. Hit that thumbs up. Let's try for 1,000 likes. Hit that subscribe button down below. Turn on the bell for notifications. And go follow me on social media on X. At JD from NY206, X, Instagram, TikTok, and Cameo. Guys, I will keep you posted on TNT. If we go live tonight, schedule time at 8.30. If not, because of Drew's family problems, we will go live on Thursday for episode 33 of Tuesday Night Titans. But it'll be Thursday Night Titans this week. So keep an eye on social media. Until then, guys, thank you so very much. Enjoy your Tuesdays, and I'll be right back here with more news on Off the Script.